spot on the couch, isn't it? That's your spot on the couch. Coco. Say hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Coco. Hey. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Lulu. Y'all want a treat? Y'all want a treat? Y'all want a treat? What's up, what's up, my LV besties? I hope y'all are having a great day. I can tell y'all right now, I am tired of Christmas shopping. I'm tired of, tired of trying to equal out everything. <laughs> and I equal out money. I try to spend the same amount and roughly the same amount of presents at the same time for each kid. For seven, it's exhausting. And then I'm by for my husband and my parents, his parents. Yeah, I'm tired. So anyways, we went Christmas shopping today. But there was no way I could film, you guys, because, like, it was so crowded everywhere. Like, just holding up a phone would just be impossible. Like, trying to get through aisles and everything. So I really could not do that. I know I told you guys I was going to show you guys what I got from Academy yesterday. But it's too much. It's too much to just bring in here and sit down. So I can just tell you guys this. Just know that. Just know it's mostly Nike, Adidas, and normal sort of types of clothing that I get the boys every year. I usually get them some sweatpants, some shorts, some t-shirts, some long sleeve shirts. Just basically there's some stuff to keep them up in clothing because like I told you before, they really don't buy for them clothes for themselves. And my husband does their main gifts, and I just kind of like to get them some things for myself. So, yeah, I just bought them. I just got them updated on some clothes. And today I just tried to finish up what little things I have left, but just trying to get in a parking lot took forever. So, instead, today I'm going to do something more fun. I'm going to show you guys what my next giveaway is. That I've been talking about a lot on Vlogmas 9. And I'm super excited to show you guys that. And hopefully, if you want to win it, you I'll leave the link in the description box below. You can go see how to enter if you want to. And I'm also going to show you guys something else that I got. I'll tell you why I got it. And then, I, know, I don't know if you guys remember when I ordered the... Never full in the Domier is there, and it had, it was defective. Well, I sent it back to Louis Vuitton, and they told me they would let me know when they had another one in. So they did, so I finally got to get one of those. I haven't unboxed it, so I'm hoping that there's nothing wrong with it, and I can be good to go, because I really like, I really wanted the trifecta of the Never Fools. And plus, I love the Domiers or anyways. And they have them that I can get, I, I would like to have, just because I, I, I really love the Domiers or I love, I love the checkered print. I love the Domier bean. Like, those are just my favorite prints of the canvas pieces. So, anyway, so I'm going to unbox the other two first, and then I'm going to unbox the giveaway last, and yeah. And I was just going to show you guys who's hanging with me today. Speedy 25 in the black with the cream oversized monogram. So pretty. I've been carrying her sister, Pachette Matisse. I'm about ready to trade out. So I think I'm going to trade out with um, a Never Full for the holidays coming up. Just because they're cute. I don't know. Just randomly came up with that, okay? I just want to. I haven't carried one of my Never Fulls in a while, so I thought about carrying one of them. Okay, do y'all like my little purple shirt? I got this from Walmart. It's so soft and so comfy and just, I, I love Walmart's clothes, you guys. Like, I mean, I like to shop any, I, I'm one of those people that will shop from anywhere. I am not just about only name brand. I will literally shop for, from anywhere. Like, Walmart, I can't tell you how many sweaters I've bought from Walmart. T-shirts, pajamas, these like hoodies like this. Like, they're just, they're so soft and so good. Like, I do not discriminate because it's not all just name brand clothing. Anyways, and by the way, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. That doesn't even sound right. I can't even believe that. 
tomorrow, we are going to Dallas, by the way. <laughs> we were going to go today, and we were going to go look at house plants today, but things came up, and our builder had some stuff to do, and then it was raining really, really bad, so we said skip Dallas. We didn't want to drive in the rain. So we're going to attempt that tomorrow. Hopefully, I can film in there tomorrow. All right, so first, I'm going to start off with the smaller box. That is the... I can't... Hang on a moment. I'm, I can't remember which box is which, so I'm going to go ahead and just open one, and if it's the giveaway, I'll set it down and unbox the other one because I want to do the giveaway last, okay? So, so I hope you guys are all getting ready for Christmas, and I hope you guys are nearly done because... Thank the Lord I am. There's the box. It's tiring. Next year, I don't know. I'm going to have to do something different. <laughs> it's been way too much. I guess adding in the Vlogmases every day. Is that even a word, Vlogmases? Anyways, adding that in every day has has kind of, um, it, it's, t it's taken up a lot of time. So, you know. Okay, so this is a pull open, so that's good, so I can tell which one it is. I think this, okay, yeah, so this is the one that I got for myself. This is something that I don't normally buy. Hardly ever do I buy these, because I've already told you guys I don't swap these things out much. But I'll tell you why I did when I opened it up. So here it is. Super cute. I love the ribbon. ribbon. I'm going to hate it whenever the Christmas is holidays over. And they don't have the red ribbon. And I love how they put Louie in big letters on that. So cute. Okay, so let's unbox her. So, I got the reverse monogram card holder. And the reason why I got this is because when I did my giveaway, first of all, I seen how cute it was. And second of all, I have several, whoa, <laughs> if I get to keep it, you know, because I like to throw things, things like to fall off, dogs like to tear things up, y'all know that, y'all know how it is with me, anyways, I wanted this for the loop bag and a few more bags that I have that are, that are very small, even my Gucci bags, I, I know that, I know they may be Gucci and this is Louis Vuitton, but you see, I don't care, I mean, like, Yes, I would definitely rather have like a Gucci one in my Gucci bags because I'm OCD, but I'm not just going to go run go buy one just, just for when I got a perfectly good card holder right here. So I'm super excited about this, and I think this is going to work much better with my um, loop bag because I really was having a hard time getting everything to fit in it, and the wallet was one of the main reasons things that I was having trouble getting in with the rest of the necessities. So yeah, I love the reverse monogram on it. So super cute. And it looks like it will fit a lot of cards in here. Cannot wait to start carrying my loot bag. I have not carried it one time due to the fact that it's been, it's, it's a pretty small bag, but it's so cute that I, you, it's one that you just have to keep. And one day after Vlogmas, I'll do another review on the loot bag and show you guys what fits in it with this card holder because I that was when I got that loot bag, that was my second video. And you guys, I have over 2,000, I think it's like 2.3 or 2.4 um, K views on that. And um, I can't believe people were able to set through it because it was so blurry that I was, when I go back and look at it, I think they, you guys must have really wanted to see that loot bag pretty bad to, to watch that video because mm -mm, it was terrible. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. So I'm going to do another video over the loot bag and show you guys what I'm going to put inside of it and one that's not blurry, okay? So, so yeah, that's my card holder. And like I said, I, wallets are not something I normally buy. Just because I don't want to spend the money on them. And because I don't really like switching them out. Like, uh-uh. I'm good with a big one for my big purses. A small one for my small purses. And then a thin one for my extra small purses. Alright, let's unbox this. 
And I hope so bad that this is not going to have to be sent back. It's like, get with the program, Louis Vuitton. You are going to have to, like, up your game, okay? Quit making things defective. And, y'all, that one was bad defective. Like, there was no way I was going to keep it. And I even took it into the Louis Vuitton store, and they were like, no. Well, here we go. I love the holiday packaging. So, so pretty. All right. So, here's the box. And basically, I, I did not have to rebuy this because this was an exchange for the same one just whenever they got one in because you know how they were low on stock on these type of bags so they tell me when they would get one in they would send it to me so that's what we did we ex I exchanged it through them so yeah yep 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 all right the red ribbon is just so 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 pretty it really it goes well with it you wouldn't think it would go well with this color of a box but it does Looks good with it. All right. Here she is in her dust bag. Please, please be good. <laughs> please no more returns on this. All right. This is an M. This better be an They better sent me a medium. I do not like the... I, I just don't have a reason. I guess I shouldn't say I don't like. I don't have a reason for the, what is it, the GM, the GM size. No reason for that. Okay. All right, let's get her straightened out here. Come on, chickadee. Let's get you worked out. Do you guys ever use your pouches? Just curious. I really don't. I don't. I've given them to my daughters. They use them. Especially my oldest daughter. She likes to throw her just the wristlet down and which she has never full of her own. But she likes to throw her um wristlet down in her like bag that she goes to work with and she doesn't have to carry a purse like that. Alright, so so far. Other than it's just being smashed from being in the box, it looks okay. It looks good. It looks much better than the last one. I'm going to just kind of... I don't do the whole... I don't know about you guys, but hey. By the way, I'm talking and I'm like talking behind my bags. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> just kidding. I don't do the whole singeing of the bags. I don't know about you guys, but like I don't ever cinch them in. Like, it's just, I don't know. Once I get an organizer in her, I think she should be great. Again, she's a bit up, but that's to be expected. I can handle that. Hey. <laughs> I can handle that. But I could not handle it being detached on the inside, which is what the glass bag was. And I really didn't look it over whenever I, whenever I was showing it to you guys. But I kind of did notice it a little bit. But I wasn't going to go into it on the video. Like, I thought, well, I'll check it over real good whenever I got off. Or when I got done. And I seen that it was, yeah, not going to work. But anyways, the inside is a beautiful ballerina pink. And, of course, it's a textile lining. I would love it so much if they did microfiber lining in these bags. And it's just... Got the normal flap, as you all know. I don't see that it says it's made from anywhere, so I'm going to assume U.S. Why? I don't know about you guys, but most of the canvas pieces that I get online are, they are made in the U.S. Do y'all know, like, why that is? Not that I really just care. As long as the bag is good, then I'm good, you know? But it seems like I've had more trouble, though, from things I've ordered online. Seriously. So let's take this out. I'm going to keep this one. I've been giving all my other ones away. And I'm going to keep this one because she's cute. I love that she has the pink ballerina on the inside of her. And she's got the pocket. But, yeah, I'm not really, I mean, 
I have them, but I've kept a couple and I've given a couple away. All right, so let's see where she's made. I'm just going to, I already know, but I like to have the proof. Yes, made in the USA. I'm trying to focus. Not that y'all probably care. <laughs> y'all probably don't care. Y'all, y'all believe me. Y'all believe me. What do I have to gain by telling y'all it was made somewhere else? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this bag looks good. Super excited. I'm going to put my organizer in her ASAP so her shape can start getting good and shaped. And I can carry her this spring because t really and truly, all of all the bags, the, the Dom ears are, are really one of the most prettiest bags Louis Vuitton makes, in my opinion. In my opinion. That, I like to go really light or the really dark, like the Dommier bean with the chocolate. I love it. All right. Now, I'll just leave this box here. We'll just leave this here. It's time for the giveaway prize. And you guys, I hope y'all really go enter. I'm working so hard to get to 500 subscribers because that's my next short-term go. And then after that will be a thousand and I'm going to do another giveaway. And yeah, I mean, I love to give back and it's fun. Like it's really fun to like do a giveaway. And I made this one simple. I didn't, it, there wouldn't be any way I could like do a game to reach 500 subscribers, if that makes any sense. So, okay, so let's do the unboxing on the giveaway. I'm excited for you guys. Y'all are going to love it. If you already have this, I will send the receipt, and that way you can exchange it for something else. But, y'all, Winnie B, LB, she's on it. She is on it. If y'all want to win, y'all better get on it, because that, that chickadee, she don't play. She don't play. She wants it. Or she she doesn't know what it is, but she wants it. <laughs> and she's, she's, and I have met her. Slowly through YouTube, okay? Like, from the get-go, like, she commented on one of my videos. And, and we've been friends ever since. And, yeah, she she's like, oh, yeah, game on. That's what she said, game on. So, here's the receipt for the giveaway, okay? Oh, they didn't put the ribbon around it. I'm going to. Because I want to show you guys the pretty box with the pretty ribbon on it. So excited for you guys. I love giving back so much. Y'all just don't know. Like, it makes me so happy, like, whenever somebody else is happy. You know, like, I've always been that way. Like, if if I can give something to somebody and they're, like, so super excited, like, that just makes my day. Like, Miss Vicky was so excited over her card holder and, you know, like... That just made it all worth it. Just the fact that she was so appreciative of it. And she's a YouTuber and she does, um, I think she does a lot of like beauty and skincare routines and stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Vicky. I've got to get caught up on everybody's videos because um, it's hard whenever you're doing your own and then living everyday life. Okay, you guys, I finally got it. <laughs> I wanted it to be perfect though. But anyways, check Miss Vicky out, and it's like M Z V I C K I E Miss Miss Vicky. Okay, y'all check her channel out because she's pretty cool. I like her. She's super sweet. We're now friends. Okay. All right. So this is the giveaway. Excited. All right. Let's open her up. Here she is. Y'all can probably already guess what it's gonna be. The key pouch in Domiera Bean. And I don't want to, my hands are clean, by the way. But I want to open her up to show you guys. If you want to clip her to your keys or clip her to your bag, then here she is. So cute. Look at that. I have the monogram one, but mm, this Domiera Bean is just, it's so cute. This is made in the U.S. That's okay. That's okay. We're all good. It's all good. And it's got the plastic cover on it. 
still. So there's like some plastic right here, which I will not take off. But I just want to let you guys know, if y'all do not have one of these, these things are one of my favorite SLGs that I have. Because if I don't want to take a purse or anything, and I just want to grab my keys out, I can throw every single credit card, my license, debit card, everything in here. And you guys, it fits a lot. Like, it may not look like it does, but it holds my credit cards, debit, license, and some cash in this. Clipped it on my keys, and out the door I went. Perfect. My daughter-in-law, she has one that she just hangs from her keys and keeps all her stuff in. That's what she does. Now, I like to clip these a lot inside my bags or on the outside of my bags for looks. But, yeah, this is one of my favorite SLGs. They're, you can't go wrong with this. They're very handy. And, yeah, so good luck to whoever wins this. If you want to beat out Winnie B, LV, you better get on it because that girl is on it, okay? I mix, I love Winnie. She's, she is something else. You can tell she is always up for a challenge, for sure. All right, so back in the little dust bag she goes, and that's where she will stay until I get my 500 subscribers, and then I will go and tally up whoever's name was commented the most and they have to subscribe as well and then I will reveal the winner literally like at 500 like 500 I will be so ready to give her away so that is everything for today okay and I just want to let you guys know that I, I appreciate every view I get every comment I get Every new subscriber, I just love, all, I love it. Like, this is so my thing, you guys. Like, getting on here and talking, not necessarily to myself, but knowing that people are going to comment back, and then I can chit-chat, is, like, so totally my thing, you know? Like, I'm really, like, loving this YouTube business. Like, it's great. It's fun. And even if nothing ever comes out of it, I've gained friends. That's enough right there for me, you know? So, I do hope, like, I can keep this channel going for a long time because it's really super fun to get to know all you different people. And I love learning about all the new, all, everybody's cultures and different ways of living and everybody's different lifestyles. And we all have different opinions on things. And, and I don't think anybody's is wrong, you know. That's our God-given right is to have, is for our minds to think on our own. For nobody to tell us how to think or what to do or anything. We have the right to think on our own and choose how we want to live. And it's so neat just hearing different the different things that people say and the things that I haven't known about. And I've mentioned on my videos and there will be people that will know about like a certain subject and come back and comment and tell me something. So I've learned a lot just by these... I think I have like 36 or 37 videos up, but I've learned a lot so far. And everybody is so sweet and kind and helpful. And I maybe have gotten one negative comment, and it was dumb. It was like, your videos are blurry. And I was like, I know that. <laughs> like, I'm in the process of figuring it out. Like, And I think I had probably said it on so many videos about before I got this camera because I, I y'all I winged it when I came in okay I, I totally winged it but I could when you are editing your video or when you are looking into the phone or in my computers an iMac so it's a good computer when you are looking into those you see a very clear picture you see a very clear picture when you go and edit and then whenever it's downloaded and it's up when you go to YouTube and watch it total different story now, on top of that I had been searching for for cameras well they were low on stock everywhere online and in store Amazon and Best Buy which were the ones we checked and um, I ended up getting a camera and it was a good camera it just didn't have a little the little screen that sticks out so I couldn't see myself talk which is okay but I also needed it to be able to see like what I'm showing and stuff like you know, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of hard to do. So, luckily, Winnie, I messaged her and I'm like, can you please recommend a camera for me? Because I am so tired of seeing my own videos blurry. And she recommended one and it just happened to be the day they had three in stock. And 
two was in the store that I live close by and I paid for that sucker so fast and this camera is awesome like Winnie she recommended an amazing camera because my videos are so clear but yeah so that was that's so far that's been the only negative comment that I've gotten I mean I, I couldn't argue with them I couldn't because I know I knew that they were not it's just that I was trying to work on it and yeah so anyways but other than that everybody's been the most sweetest people and kindest people so and that's what makes the world go round right there sweet kind generous people that are not out to bad mouth you and um, bring you down and leave negative comments and things like we all need to build each other up like we live in a tough world right now you know and every day is a hard day for everybody we just all need to always just lift each other up and build each build each other's confidence because you don't ever know what's going to happen and over the course of the past two to three years I can't really remember now it's been so long it feels like COVID's been here forever I've seen so many people's loved ones pass and you know young people to older people it, it's sad it's sad children I mean I can't I can't imagine anybody just walking around and being negative all the time when we have so much going on in our country and all of the other countries as well. Everybody is suffering from this. It is not just the United States. This is everybody. Like The whole world is in this together. And the more we can build ever, each other up, and no matter how it is, whether it's through so social media, a smile on the street, a wave in the grocery store, paying for someone's lunch, you know, smiling when you pass someone by, waving in the car, anything at all that you can do to brighten someone's day could possibly make their entire day because you never know what someone is going through and there's no way we could all know what anybody's going through at all times so the more kind we can be and the more uplifting we can be the better our lives will also be because you will be happier on the inside and I know that we all are negative people at some point in time we are that's just a natural thing I believe but I know that if I get into a negative slump then my body is not feeling good at the time and um, and I know it's because I in my mind it's my mindset. If I wake up and I'm and I'm in a bad mood, then my day is not going to go well because it's I'm I've already had that mindset that I that nothing's going right and I'm already upset about something. Well, I've learned over the past I don't know a couple years to not do that anymore. I mean, obviously there's going to be things that get us down and bring us down. That's that's life. I mean, we can't go through life happy all day every day that there's no way that's going to happen but if we wake up with the mindset of having a positive attitude i do feel that every day we do that will be a better day somehow or another and if the if even if everything is going wrong in your life and believe me when i say i have been there and done that on the whole everything going wrong in my life okay you guys I could I have stories for days that you probably couldn't even wrap your mind around on what I've been through in my life and and and, and I will say it's nothing like it was nothing harmful physically harmful to me but emotionally and yet through those days I will say every single day I woke up and I did my best to keep my head held up high smile be happy to the ones that had things that I didn't to be happy for the ones that life was going way better than mine was and just be and for most importantly be happy that the fact that I had the three most important things in my life at that time and that was my three children and then later on as things you know moved forward I was happy for my fourth child my new husband like you just got to have the mindset that you're gonna have a good day and even if it's a bad day just try to smile just try to smile and just think positive and something good will come out of it I promise you and it may not be that moment that day but eventually you'll look back you'll realize that your life is so much better because you have had the mindset of your life getting better 
and I promise you it really will get better all things get better with time and I've experienced death in the family and that's a hard thing to get past for sure but you just know that everything's everything gets better and and if you ever feel like your life won't get better because of something talk to somebody because it will get better no matter what you're going through it will get better okay and I'm gonna leave that at that because that's not a subject I really want to go into right now but do that to, do that we are coming up on the Christmas holidays I know there's a lot of families struggling and a lot of people that are just thinking that you know they they can't pull it off they can't do it it's okay like it's okay like you do what you can do get help where you can get help and accept it and be thankful and know that one day it will get better okay so I think I have talked on here long enough and I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and let you guys know. I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, night, whatever the time it is that you're watching this. And for me, unfortunately, it's a good night. See you guys back tomorrow with another video. Bye.